we continue to look back at Limestone Men's Lacrosse's first national championship, a 10-9 win back on May 28th of 2000 over heavy favorite LIU CW Post. And we were talking with Coach Mike Serino uh, earlier, and Coach Serino was talking about the, the youth of this team. But right now we're going to go to one of the senior captains that was on that 2000 national championship team. And Rick Matthews, good to see you. Thanks for taking time to join us. Thank you, Fabian. Very good to see you. Very good to be here. I appreciate it. It's been a long time. And, of course, uh, uh, the Athletics Hall of Fame, I know the current situation with the uh, coronavirus pandemic kind of altered uh, plans for you to be in that induction class uh, for 2020. But we're looking forward uh, to getting you back in the area and, and getting that taken care of for you because of your uh, distinguished uh, career. Uh, but a team captain on that 2000 squad. Uh, Ricky, let me ask you, what do you think made that team so special? Um, first of all, I think uh, what made us so special was uh, how much we cared about each other, how much we cared about um, what we were doing and why we were doing it. Um, like I said, I was, or like you said, I was an older statesman, so to speak, on the team. Um, myself and Jake Lawson, who was also uh, a captain, we were kind of older guys who had, you know, gone to another university and uh, had taken some time off school and or transferred. And um, for me, it was my last opportunity to, uh, you know, realize my dreams to get my uh, degree and play for a national championship. And I went down the limestone with that in intention in mind that I wanted to uh, earn my degree. And most of all, uh, or also <laughs> as equally, uh, win a national championship because I, I knew uh, we were capable of doing that. Uh, and there, there was no reason why we should not put ourselves in that position. And then Coach Serino uh, and our coaching staff did a great job of uh, preparing us to make sure that we didn't leave any stone unturned and, and we made sure we finished that day victorious. Now, Ricky, you mentioned it just a few minutes ago, 2000 was your final chance. That was going to be your final year of playing college uh, lacrosse. Not many folks get to go out on top when their playing careers are done. So how, how sweet was that for you on a personal level? It, uh, on a personal level, it was very satisfying. It was very gratifying. Um, because my, uh, my freshman or my lacrosse or collegiate career started at um, Adelphi um, years prior, uh, before I took some time off school and um, uh, did that, went that route. And um, we had lost to uh, Adelphi and we uh, had lost to CW Post in the past. And that kind of, that helped fuel me those two years um, uh, because I knew that the guys who I were who I was playing with, they were some great players, and we could be just as great a team, if not beat those teams that um, that stood in our path. Um, uh, just the year before, we had lost a close game to CW Post at um, Queen Anne's County, um, and and that was that was crushing uh, for me because I was uh, that was my first game. Um, against CW Post since uh, my freshman year in college. And my freshman year in college, I had beaten them. So when we showed up in 2000 in Maryland, there was, uh, there was absolutely no way we were going to leave that field w without that victory. Now, I want to take you to the final seconds of that action. The defense – for Limestone was on the field a lot when we're talking about man down situations. But take us through the final 15 seconds of the action because Post took the final shot. The defense had to come up. And I know those final 15 seconds must have seemed like it took one half of actual lacrosse game time to go by. It, it, it most certainly did. <laughs> um, for the first thing that I remember was being uh, extremely tired. I was dog tired because I had just come off the field and there was, I believe, a timeout or something called. And Coach Reno was like, uh, where's Ricky? Where's this, that? And 
uh, Coach Fennessy was like, I think Ricky's done. He's over there on the bench. He can't breathe. He was like, he's get him up and get him in the, on the field. He was like, you're up. So I was like, oh, my God. Like, so I went out there, and all I could think about was, first of all, the name Benny Catone kept ringing through my head. I did not want to see him get the ball again. I did not want to see him go to the goal again. Um, but I was very confident in our uh, close defense and, and most definitely confident in uh, Matt Malloy and the goal. And uh, I, 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 it was, uh, it was, like you said, it was like time stood still. I was confident that we could hold them, but I just wanted the clock to run out. I didn't necessarily want to have to go into overtime, even though I knew had we gone into overtime, we would have won then too. Um, but it was just, it was one of the greatest feelings in slow motion that you could ever want to witness and or feel. Rick Matthews, you're a part of uh, forming the legacy here for Limestone Men's Lacrosse. Thank you so much for joining us to take a look back at this uh, historic moment. I thank you for the interview, Fabian. And uh, it's, it's, it's been real. It's been a real uh, great, um, great being a part of that. Uh, tradition um, starting it with that 2000 team um, and to all my 2000 team and my teammates and brothers I love you guys all right thank, thank you, you. Thank, you. thank you have a great day all right thank you you too